Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm just going to share uh, some things that happened overnight for me. Some people may come on, maybe not. Uh, maybe you can listen to this later. Uh, it's about 9 o'clock uh, on March the 13th, 9 a.m. And I uh, just wanted to share some things with, with you that <clears throat> happened overnight. Uh, I'll just wait just a few minutes here. Hey, Crystal. Well, last night, uh, I was, uh, I was asleep and, um, I was dreaming. I was having a, a really good dream. It was a dream of, uh, me and my boys, uh, and we were just laughing and, uh, in the dream and I actually awakened, awakened myself, uh, from laughing, uh, so I woke up, uh, it was just a dream of me and my boys, we were just doing something silly, I don't remember what it was, uh, but anyway, I, I awakened and I, I looked at the clock and it was uh, 3.34 in the morning, <clears throat> and uh, you know, I, I don't go on Facebook Live, I don't, I don't do these things that much, uh, I don't even remember the last time I'd done anything like this, but uh, Anyhow, um, you know, I'm a pastor, uh, and uh, I'm a believer in Christ Jesus, and this just came out of nowhere. Anyway, I, I awakened 3.34, 3.34 in the morning, a.m., and, uh, hey, Pastor uh, Randall, I see you there. Uh, I was, uh, I went into a vision that's the only thing that I can describe to say it is, and I don't, this isn't something that, that normally happens to me, okay, but I just wanted to share this because it, uh, it, I don't know, I'll just get through this and, and you can make your own determinations about it, uh, so anyway, I, I was awakened from a dream laughing and I, within a matter of moments, I went into a vision and I was taken into a place, uh, and I don't really know the pl where the place was at. The only place I could say is it was in the spirit, <clears throat> but it was a location that I didn't know. Uh, and I was, I was I was standing there, and I saw a flagpole, and uh, I looked up at this flagpole, and I I saw. A flag there and there wasn't much of a flag it was just part of a flag but when I looked at it I immediately knew that it was an American flag but it was it was very shredded it was very uh, just tattered uh, and you know where the, with the American flag where the, the the blue with the stars there wasn't much left of that uh, in the red and white of course it was all faded uh, but I was just standing there looking at that flag and all of a sudden my attention was zoomed in to uh, the islet that uh, was at the top of the flag and uh, I pulled one up on my iPod I'll show it to you, so you do know it kind of looks like this you can see the islet it looks like that well, I was looking at that islet, and as I looked at it, I, I saw something inscribed in it, in the islet, and it said, and I, I got up and I wrote all these things down in the middle of the night, uh, in that islet was inscribed these words, the right to bear arms, uh, and I was, I mean, this was very, very strange for me, but anyway, uh, as I was looking at that islet, 
with the words inscribed the right to bear arms and this was at the top of the flag uh, I heard these words behind me that said when it breaks the other two will go quickly so my attention was immediately drawn to the other eyelets that looked like this they were my attention was drawn to the the next one down because this flag had three of them and when I looked at the second one it had inscribed on it the freedom of speech and of course then I looked at the next uh, one down and it said the freedom of religion uh, and I'm, I don't know exactly what all of this means I know what it sounds like to me but then I heard the words behind me the America that you knew will be no more now, I'm not trying to say anything like this to, to scare people you know I, for me to go on here I'm, I'm putting my reputation on the line because uh, I don't do this I mean I record weekly the messages I preach uh, but I try to I stick with the gospel okay I stick with the gospel of Jesus Christ I don't typically go out on a limb like this uh, but the next thing uh, that happened all of a sudden after that I was taken to a whole different location and I saw another flagpole and it had a flag on it and uh, the flag was a flag of California and I was familiar with with that flag if you're not familiar with it I'm gonna I'll pull up a picture of it real quick for you so that you can look at it uh, but I was looking at that flag and it was waving in the wind as well and if you're familiar with the, the flag of California uh, it has a uh, a bear on it and my iPod's being slow here this old thing but I was gonna pull up a picture of it so you could look at it anyway if you're looking at the flag of California uh, the bear that is on it he's typically facing the left um, or like looking west westward and uh, as I was sitting there looking or standing there looking at that flag all of a sudden the bear that was on the flag he turned directions and he started facing the east or the right and that's all that was in that segment so I don't I don't completely understand that I think I may know what it means but anyway immediately after that uh, I was taken back to the original flagpole uh, where there was no flag on it anymore and as I was standing there looking at that flagpole uh, I saw a, a new flag being raised and it was a it was a black flag and <clears throat> As it was being raised, I began to, to notice as it was coming up that it had a section like the American flag, you know, the, the blue section in the American flag with the stars. It had a section like that, except that section was black as well. So the whole flag was black uh, with no, uh, no white stripes, no red stripes, just black. Uh, and the section that's blue in the American flag was just black as well but it had the stars in it but the the strange thing about this flag is that it was upside down uh, and it was raised upside down and all I heard uh, when that flag was r raised was welcome to the deep blue state uh, so I don't know what all of these things mean uh, but I felt like that I needed to share this uh, like I said I'm, I don't typically do this um, but I felt like I needed to share this you know, you're welcome to to put your uh, comments uh, leave you know leave a message what what you think these things may be about I feel like I know what the Lord is saying uh, we are in a a critical moment right now we're in a very critical moment uh, 
there's so much and listen I'm not I don't get all into politics I don't uh, my main focus and attention uh, is on the gospel of Jesus Christ that's, that's what that's my daily thoughts that's what I keep my mind on I don't watch the news a whole lot uh, I'm just I'm just not tuned into those things I keep my mind focused uh, on the Lord uh, but I was very, very troubled, very, very disturbed. I wasn't fearful, but I was troubled, very, very troubled when I woke up because I felt like, my God, what are we on the verge of here? Now, I'm not saying these things to try to prophesy to anybody. I don't claim to be a prophet, uh, but I am a follower of Christ and I know that he will speak to us in dreams. He will speak to us in visions. This wasn't something that I invited. This wasn't something that I was looking for. Um, but I really felt like the Lord zeroed in on that. When this thing, the right to bear arms, I don't believe we realize how important this is to our other freedoms. But I felt like that he told me when this thing breaks, if that thing breaks, the freedom of speech and the freedom of religion, they will go as well, and they will go quickly. Uh, sometimes we don't, may not understand how vital the things that have been put in place for us, that there also are protections to other things, not just protecting ourselves or protecting our home, but uh, protecting other laws, uh, other freedoms. So, um, you know, share your thoughts. Uh, you're welcome to leave your comments, share it. Uh, you know, I believe we're in an hour that we can pray. And I'm, I'm praying for America. I'm, we have a, a Wednesday night prayer meeting that intercedes for this country and this nation. Uh, and I believe, you know, if there is a time that we ever needed to pray, I really believe we need to pray. And, you know, I'm taking to Facebook Live now to say, look, our, our freedoms are on the line. You know, it doesn't, I know there's a lot of people that are, are Trump supporters, Trump haters, all those things. I'm not even talking about the president. I'm talking about the freedoms that we have enjoyed for nation, for as a nation for generations are being challenged now. Uh, hey Jerome, hadn't seen you in a while brother, thank you for watching. Uh, if you get a chance, go back and watch this. Uh, I feel like the Lord gave me a vision that we really need to pray concerning our right to bear arms because it's not just about you owning a gun. This is about also the freedom of speech and the freedom of religion that we enjoy. Some people say, well, how can you connect that, Todd? Well, if you take away one, what's left to begin taking away the others. You know, if you can't protect yourself, uh, they'll tell you to be quiet. And if, if, I mean, if somebody gets to the point where they don't like what you believe, I mean, these are the same things. If we haven't learned from history, all you've got to do is, is study uh, Germany and see the things that happened uh, from, you know, no one would imagine in 1932 the things that would be happening in 1942, you know, just 10 years later. Uh, you know, people get in to positions and they can make changes real quickly uh, we need to be paying attention to what is going on and we need to be praying more than anything you know I don't know where your relationship is with Jesus Christ uh, but I know this God listens to prayer I believe that God listens to prayer he hears the prayers of the righteous that's what the Bible says uh, and this is an hour for us to pray I'm not saying these things to scare us. You know, I believe you know, we ha we don't have because we don't ask. That's what the Bible says. So, uh, 
you know, we have at this point, uh, but we also have got to, to, to maintain or uh, keep the things that we have. We have to, to be responsible with what we have. So anyway, uh, I appreciate you joining me this morning. Uh, share this. Like I said, uh, leave your comments. Uh, hey, Jenny. Hey, Nick. Hey, Craig. Uh, glad y'all could watch this morning. Um, just think about what I, I said that uh, I feel like the Lord gave me in a vision. And uh, I'll be talking with you soon again, okay? Thanks for joining.